Hello and welcome to BIMobject.com. My name is Matthew Jackson, Digital Content Manager here, and we're going to have a look at the Sembrite Revit uh, application today. So Sembrite have four pages for this release, but the installer is the same on every single page. So just the different pages give you information about the specific different uh, product ranges that they have. Here we have the regions where they're available. So this is a Revit installer, so it's slightly different to how we usually do things. So you need to download it and install it as you would. Please do make sure that Revit is closed during this installation as it adds features uh, to the toolbars. So run it as you would a standard Windows installer file. And I've installed this before, so it will ask me to, to modify. But go through the standard installation process, finish it up, So let's have a look at how this would look in Revit. So here in Revit, I have pre-made a, a small building, just a one story, four meter high wall uh, with some windows and doors in. Uh, and we'll be using this model to show how the different features of the Sembrit work. So you can see here on the toolbar, we have uh, the Sembrit ribbon. And, uh, and this gives you three options of the different substructures. And you can go into settings as well, and this will change the, the thicknesses of, of what's used. Um, we won't go into the settings today, uh, but just have a play around. Make sure that your walls are connected to the level. I made this mistake last time, so make sure that they are, uh, have a connected height uh, to the roof. And then just double check to make sure everything looks right, and it does here. So we're going to have click on whichever assembly we want, and then click on the wall. And here we have the wall's been brought up with the two windows, and here you can see the the wall width and height. So rows and columns works exactly the same way. Add the height that you would like the boards to be, and then add the width of the first board. And you just add, 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 and add, and then finish row, and then it applies this to the wall. And quite simply, it's just a process of just doing this step by step. And once you have a pattern that you like, you can actually can copy the rows up. So you can get a nice repeated pattern. You can click on any of the tiles that you've created and change the material from on an individual tile basis by looking at the drop down. You can update all of them at the same time, or you can update them on a one by one basis. So just click on the on, on the board that you want and click on the single update and it will do that. Um, we're just looking at, uh, for example, so I'm going to do some quite garish colours just so you can kind of see the difference. Um, but obviously you'll be using the Sembrite material library um, when you actually do this properly. So go through this process, kind of create a design that you want. Um, within the Revit window as shown here. And once you're happy with the design, um, whether you do it in rows or columns, you can then save this design. So what you can do is you can save this to use later. So we're just going to call this Sembrite, de uh, Sembrite Demo uh, number two and save it. And then once you're happy that you've produced what you want, then you can start placing this system. So now Revit will go through placing all of the boards um, into the onto the wall that you've selected. Um, depending upon the size of the wall, this could take you know a couple of seconds, or it could take a couple of minutes, depending upon how fast your machine is. Um, but uh, it's a very detailed mo model, um, but it's exactly what you need to create this embryo design that you would like. So once that's done, we'll then have a look at this in 3D, and you can see that it's now placed, uh, including obviously the cutarounds for the windows, uh, each of the uh, the boards um, onto onto the wall, including the frame subsystem as well. And we'll just zoom in just to see that it is there. It's shown there just in, in wireframe for now. Um, so once you're happy uh, with that, obviously, like I said, it's garish colors. But now we'll show you by saving uh, earlier and clicking back onto the selection, you can now load the design in that you used uh, earlier. So we click on Sembrite demo number two. It automatically then places your design back onto uh, the new wall. 
And for the sake of argument, let's just change all this to a kind of an aluminium finish uh, for now. Obviously, this is not part of the standard system. You'll have the colors loaded in. And there we are, it's placed. So once you've done your first wall, it's very easy then to reapply this to, to other walls once you've done your design. If you're not happy, you just click the Delete the Sembreed System button and click on the wall that you want to delete it from, and it goes. Now, you would do this because uh, the limitations of Revit means that we have to add a window and then we have to apply the Sembreed System. Unfortunately, you can't apply a window um, after you've applied the Sembreed System, but like I said, once you've uh, saved your design, um, it's a very quick process. So now it understands that there's a window there. So when it replaces the system, it cuts around the windows. So enjoy, have fun with this very powerful tool within Revit. Um, and any comments, please let us know.